Hello right there, Joe Mate Yogi here, with another episode of my humble opinion. Let's take a look at the games on the month, on the monthly choice bundle. Sometimes other bundles, but this one, Legends Keepers, is from July 2022. Uh, humble choice. Let's see what it's like, shall we? Apparently, you're developing your own dungeon to fight off uh, invaders. Are you a slave master in search of something new? Are you an enchantress with an ever insufficient magic budget? Are you a misunderstood genius? Sign up with the Dungeons Company. <laughs> Assemble your ideal team, train your monsters to defend our treasures from ever stupider heroes. Feel free to give us a call by Crystal Ball at and become a part of the legend of Keepers. I'm looking forward to trying this one, see what it's like. I doubt it'll be in the same rank of Dungeon Master, but... Congratulations and welcome to the Dungeons Company. As you saw on the job posting, your main task is to protect the treasures we keep in our dungeons. We don't have much time to spend training you, so please keep up. All right. Heroes keep coming to try and take our treasures. The marketing team has worked hard to promise gold and glory to these idiotic adventurers. We have a little time before they get here, so let's place our traps and our employees to prepare a defense. Okay. First comment, uh, the voiceover is good. Good enough, anyway. Uh, sounds good. A little bit of background music, it's atmospheric. The graphics, mm, yeah, I can handle them. They're not my favourite, by any means. Yeah, I don't like pixel art like this, but it's it's survivable. Place a trap. Bone catapult. Confirm. We always leave an empty room in every dungeon. You can use it to ambush the adventurers with one of your favorite spells. Some rooms are dedicated to combat. This is my favorite bit. Make sure you analyze each group of adventurers. Your employees are counting on you to prepare an effective strategy. Pay attention to combatants' attacks and resistances. They are key elements for victory. Okay. Front 30 physical damage applies broken armor 3. Uh rise in rage 3. Just do it in that well. Do that. And do that. And do it. I don't know. I'll try it. And this must be the boss. Here they come. Now they're through here. The job also involves bullying these insignificant humans. No reason work can't be fun. You can of course kill them or terrify them so much they'll flee like peasants, as you see fit. Don't forget that in battles, the fastest combatants act first. All right. <laughs> May he's taking some slices. Will power was down on that one. He's almost dead. Let's do fireball. of terror. Well, we're taking a lot of damage. I'm not convinced about this at all. Well, that's made one of them run. And one of mine's dead. Uh, two of mine's dead. Three of mine's dead. Welcome to my torture room. Well, are you gonna 
do something. Ha! Do you want some more? Get some bleeding going on. Transporting him around. That should have them running, shouldn't it? Guess not. Why not? What's your morale? Say. Well, I'll try once more for morale. <laughs> now he's running away. He must have been just on the edge. <laughs> and you're done. You did it. I knew from the start that you had potential. Know that here in Dungeon's Company, we reward talent and value ambition. Shoot for the moon. And so, your training ends. I'll see you again next year for your annual evaluation. If you do a good job in protecting our treasures, you'll get the promotion you deserve. Okay. Torture? It's a passion! That slaveholder. What if I don't want to be slaveholder? Now that's the only one that's unlocked, I guess. Talents. Each time monster is repeated, grants 10-20% chance that the master gains shell one. Grants the master 50 to 100 percent chance of gain enrage one each time he takes damage and Oh well, we've got that. When a hero is defeated by a monster. Grants that chance that the group of monsters are gaining rage free. Uh, let's do that. Why not? And then we start that one. Let's get to work. Welcome to the company, Mog. I am delighted to have you with us. We'll need your fabled management techniques. We're putting you in charge of a little team in the old empire. A region overrun by humans. It's up to you to gather mm. the monsters in the area and teach them how to defend themselves. Turn them into great employees, ready to give their lives multiple times <laughs> for the company. Rep phase. We've got 15 inch damage applies poison. And skill applies poison force to monsters with the highest life at the start of each fight. 16 highest damage applies elemental weakness too, so probably takes more damage, I'm guessing. And uh, 28 fire damage. Ricochets once to the monster positioned behind the target, if it's defeated. Deal 12 ice damage to the monster with the lowest at the start of each fight. Okay, I've got 35 physical damage. And that, uh, we put front 35, it applies bleeding too. Okay, so you can go to front, you can go there, and you can go at the back. Nah, place a trap. Let's do a circular saw. Now we've got more monsters. You have row, 50 ice damage, if it back. Area, 15 ice damage applies, slow 3, okay. If at the back, 65 damage, minus 33 morale if the target is affected by at least 2 penalties. Kogan, yeah, you're going to be at the front. You're going to be there. 
and you're going to be at the back. Confirm. And then we got the. Uh, that a pulp. And then we got you. Let's see how it goes, shall we? Poison on it. Alright. Some poison. He's dead. Yep, I expect these to go down fairly quick. Just do some to everyone. Alright. Now I get what the back is, it's the, what it does to the back rank. Etc. Okay. Just a little damage there. Burning Whip. You're down. Holly. And committed. Got two hits in. We have the dead. All. They're about dead. Leave it. I'm committed. These are almost dead. Breathing breath. Down to one now. Let's just do cleaver. And you're done. Nice skeleton, skeleton majorette, and skeleton scientist. Alright. We only get to choose one. Let's get skeleton scientist. As you could probably guess, dying isn't the nicest experience. Fortunately, our Lich Doctor is here to resurrect your employees for free. However, being dragged back to the land of the living after a taste of eternal peace <laughs> can be quite demotivating. If your employees die too often, they might suffer from burnout. <laughs> your employees' morale is therefore a matter to be taken seriously. Give them a break from time to time by sending them to the garrison. The feasts organized after a victorious defense will make them want to get back into action. All right. Team management. The team management allows you to choose in which room your employees will be de uh, deployed during the preparation phase for the dungeon. Minus one, minus two. Employees defeated randomly lose one to two morale. An employee's motivation drops zero, they will go in burnout for ten weeks. And uh, employees get three motivation back when they stay in garrison during. Okay. I don't know how. How many. 
I'll we'll put you in garrison. Oh, I see. We'll put you in garrison. And the others are all fine. I think. Use the task merchant. Buy a monster or a trap from this unscrupulous merchant trainer. Spend some gold to train your active monsters. Engineer. Upgrade your active traps. And that's about it. Right, week three, choose a task, plunder or event. Deal with office troubles and the business work environment for better or worse. Well, just try one of these. A wizard with a strange hat has fallen from the sky and landed in the entrance hall. He was carrying a magical artifact. Damage of the first attack suffered by monsters placed in the back. Turns to the assailant, I, I would love you to sell it. You don't have money. Oh, we sold it to you. Event. The R&D manager needs a uh, guinea pig to test a new trap. So you need to provide one of your employees. One then. And then we've got more adventurers. Which I assume is going to be the same thing. Uh, I need you in there now. Looks like confirm. Did we get one killed? I'm not sure. Might just be out of action because he's doing nothing. Right. You can do front damage and uh, area minus morale. You can do back or area, and you can do back or front. That's fine. We've got a trap. We'll do a circular saw. Actually, we want. We'll do a rallying horn. Oh. Actually, previous. We'll do a circular saw. And that's a spell. Then we'll do a rallying horn. And then Kogan. You have Kogan? No. Kogan? Yeah, bro. Agio. And then we're on to the uh, master. Let's see how it goes. Right, so we got Goblin Trick, Poison Dagger. Ooh! Down in one hit. Right. Cleaver or Stream of Terror? Pink Cleaver. <laughs> Poison Dagger. Get him drained some at least. At least it didn't kill him. He's down. <laughs> He's going to go down anyway. Goblin <laughs> trick. He's down. They've lost one. Leave it. 
Now we're going to lose him. That's fine. They've lost one. Take a bit more damage. Quite die, that's good. Okay. Reason breath. Get them all slowed. Stream of terror. They're almost running away already. You're probably going to take him out. Or maybe not. They're running away. Get a ball, man. Motivation. Okay. Need to get some of them resting. Alright, we're going to end the... Uh Let's try there, we've got the, the, my humble opinion. The graphics, I'm only going to give them a 6, they're not my kind of thing. The gameplay, I'll give it a 7. It could be a lot better, but it's actually quite, it's got its own charms in its way. The sounds I like and the music I really like, I'm going to give them 8. Um, world building, what world building? Characters, yeah, I like the variety. Um, there's a variety of different characters with different abilities and so on. It works. Overall, I'll give this a 7.5, maybe an 8. Um, it's actually charming me. I'm actually liking it a lot more than when I first started playing it. I just fear that it's not all that deep. Is it worth a book 50? Yeah, absolutely. No problem. Um, covers its slot in the Humble Bundle. Is it worth 12 bucks? I think so. I think it's worth a, a low-value budget game. Yeah, I can cope for that. Low to mid-value. Um, does it fit in the channel? Yeah, absolutely. I do build them up. This is kind of a build them up. It's not quite, but it is. Well, I could make it work. Um, and will I bring it to channel because I want it there? I'm not sure. It is charming me, but I don't know if it's beating other games that I'm interested in. Is there any point in you asking it for Beyond Channel if you want to? Absolutely. One person says they want this, I'll bring it to channel. Might not be immediately, I don't know. Depends when they say it. Um, but I'm going to replace No Man's Sky with something anyway, because that's already had three episodes of zero views. Just not interesting to you folks, that's fine. Um, so it could be this. Could be Balance of Ruin. Could be, uh, is it Vivictus or whatever? Um, the, the narrative, uh, castle defense thing. Uh, which got a lot more views than I thought it would do. Um, well, this one might be the replacement. Depends. Let me know what you think in the comments. See you on.